Hi there, before we start with this video, in my last video it was brought to my attention that my video quality was poor and that I should probably get a new camera. Well before getting a new camera, I decided to really dive deep into the settings of my current camera to see if I can improve the video quality. In this video, the first two scenes were filmed with my old video settings, and the rest of the video, vlog style like this, were all filmed with the new settings. I think it's quite an improvement, and I hope you like it. Enjoy the video. Hi there, Traveling Troy here. In today's video, I want to talk to you about solo travel and the possibilities of boredom and loneliness while out on the road. I'm sure my friends and family wonder, like for instance, I've been at this particular campsite. This is Saddle Mountain. That's the uh, Saddle Mountain over there. I've been at this particular campsite for almost two weeks now. I'm about to pack up and head out of here. But I'm sure a lot of my friends and family and maybe my, uh, my friends on YouTube there wonder what in the world do you do by yourself for two weeks camping in the desert? Well, I'm going to talk about that, talk about boredom and loneliness, and we'll talk a little bit, a little bit about uh, Saddle Mountain here. And, uh, you know, first let's, uh, let's look at how I got here. Okay, so for the question, is van life lonely and boring? Well, I can say for sure it does get lonely, uh, you know, when you miss your friends and family. Uh, I haven't seen my friends and family now, uh, except for a quick trip to see my dad in June for two days. Uh, I haven't seen my family in almost a year now, about 10 months since I've seen my friends and family. Um, so yeah, I mean, it gets a little lonely. Uh, yeah, the good, the cool thing is we've got social media and uh, text messages and, uh, you know, just ways to communicate. So I wouldn't say I get that lonely. I mean, I miss my friends and all that, my family. Of course, one cool thing about van life is that if you do feel like you're getting lonely or bored, you could, you know, like right now I'm at uh, Saddle Mountain and uh, I've been here for almost two weeks now and I see people coming up and down the road and there have been people camp near me. You're not very close, but I, th I feel like it's so easy. If I wanted to, I can walk up and meet someone. Uh, and I kind of compare it like like a bar situation. If I was to walk up if, walk up to a girl in a bar and try to start up a conversation with her, that would be kind of difficult because you have no idea anything about that person. What do you even? How do you even start the conversation except for you know the weather or current events or something like that? But in the situation of camping like this there's people in RVs and vans basically well you know being in this lifestyle I know a lot about both of those so I could easily walk by someone and start a conversation just as easy as oh hey I've got the same something you know that's cool or hey I like your da 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 and next thing you know oh cool yeah I got that da, 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 and you start a conversation I just think it's so easy if you really wanted to uh, socialize with other people it's very easy in this lifestyle 
uh, people are very open to uh, talk, you know, they're willing to talk about their rigs and their, you know, vans and their campsites and stuff like that and, and the things that they've seen. So I, I feel like it's very easy uh, to find other people to uh, communicate with, even to travel with. You can get in groups and go travel with other people. So uh, I don't see it being lonely. Okay, so how do you keep from getting bored living this lifestyle? I would suggest... Well, for one, you want to have a couple hobbies. Um, I still work, so I have an e-commerce business. Uh, so basically, I sell products online, and um, so I still work. I have that. That's basically a hobby for me. It keeps me busy. It's busy as it, the harder I work, the more I make. So it's kind of fun. Now, if I was retired, for instance, and I didn't have a, a, a daily job or some sort of work to do, then. I think it could easily get boring because let's say you park in a campsite like this and uh, you're here for two weeks. If you don't have something to do besides like sitting around watching TV or watching Netflix on the internet or something, then uh, you can get bored pretty easy, I'd say. So I'd definitely say pick up a couple hobbies, a couple things you really like to do. So for me, every morning once it warms up a little bit, say like nine o'clock, eight or nine o'clock in the morning, I jump up and I head over into the tent where I have my little office set up and I get some work done for a couple hours then I usually take a break or I'll you know get out and get some exercise a little walking around and then I'll get some more work done <laughs> at this campground um, Saddle Mountain uh, and it, this is kind of west of Phoenix um, the flies are really bad so I'm either in my van till late in the morning <laughs> and until it starts to warm up a little bit and then I'm in my little my little uh, screen tent. They're just, I mean like I'm standing here now, it's really windy right now so the flies aren't too bad but once that wind calms down, I think there's like a chicken farm or something in the area and if the wind's blowing in the right direction it just brings all the flies over and uh, man it's just, it's, it's pretty bad. But it's nice inside my little screen tent. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna show you my tip for getting rid of flies uh, in your van or your RV. There are so many hiding places, but when you spot one, what I like to do is use a flashlight, shine a flashlight on them, and I'm no expert on flies, but I think when you shine that light on them, it kind of blinds them like it would us, right? Well, you shine the flashlight on them, and then while it shine on them, because they're so quick and to, to escape with a flash water, well, you can use a flash water and, and splatter them on the wall. But what I like to use is glass cleaner. So you shine the light on them, all right, and then you spray them with the glass cleaner. Uh, you know, while they can't really see it, gets their wings wet, and they usually will stay there because they can't fly or they'll drop. Give them a couple more squirts, and glass cleaner kills them. Okay, so what do I do to keep from getting bored? Like I said, um, I do have an online business that I would do work on, and uh, I'm basically my own boss, so there's I set my own hours, um, and I can just just work when I feel like it, really. I can work hard, 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 or I can take a couple of days off, whatever, but uh, like right now, it's the fourth quarter. It's really busy uh, for online sales, so I'm just every single day working as much as I can on my uh, e-commerce business. So that is one thing that I, I actually enjoy doing that kind of work. So that's what I'm focused on right now. Uh, so, and I don't get bored because <laughs> I know I've got work to do and I like hearing, um, I like seeing sales being made. So that's exciting. Uh, now, besides work though, what else do I do? Well, during the daytime when I feel like I've done enough work, I can go for a walk. There's lots of little roads like this where you can just go and uh, kind of do a little hike. Uh, there's, they kind of crisscross through here a little bit. So there's plenty of places to go for a nice little walk. And also there is a, the Saddle Mountain uh, hiking trail. So there's my van there. And over in that direction is the Saddle Mountain hiking trail that kind of goes up in there. and. I may or may not take you on that hike, we'll see. So what else is there to do for fun when you're at a campsite for two weeks by yourself basically 
alone. Well, if you're if you're a place like I am currently, Saddle Mountain, there's really good internet here, so you're able to basically connect to whatever you want to. I use Verizon; that's the the one. And T-Mobile works here as well, and Sprint. I'm not, and I'm sure AT&T does as well. So, uh, so basically, internet is good here. So you'd be able to do things like watch Netflix, watch YouTube videos. Uh, you can connect to YouTube TV or any other streaming service, basically. So you've got that. Um, one thing, one bummer about this is I do have a TV and I have a uh, free over-the-air uh, antenna so you can pick up the free TV uh, signals but the problem with this location is um, we're 30 miles from the nearest tower and that tower doesn't really have good channels and we're 60 miles from like the Phoenix channel uh, the Phoenix tower where all the good channels are but unfortunately I don't pick any of those up I've just got a a minimal a minimal uh, antenna if you had a bigger antenna like on top of your RV or something and it raises up you might be able to work it out okay because there's you know there's mountains around here it kind of blocks the signal you need like a straight line so so I would say if you're getting bored with this lifestyle maybe start chatting up the neighbors see what they're doing or try to meet it with some other people maybe travel in a group maybe it'd be more exciting to um, to go have group dinners and uh, group lunches and group outings. You can go explore national parks together. Um, maybe you end up meeting someone that you like and you you know start a relationship with or something. Um, so, I mean, that's what's neat about it though, is that I can go solo and stay here for two weeks. And then for instance, if I wanted to, I can go to Quartzsite, uh, 100, 100, so two, two hours away probably, hour and a half, two hours away. I could go there and park where everyone is right now and then just you know have a blast so it, it the boredom part really depends on uh where you are as it flies all over my hand right now <laughs> yeah the boredom i think i think is just you know where you where you park um you can always find other people similar like-minded people like you if you're especially on the west coast um, I'm not sure about the East Coast how much how easy that would be uh, or if you're living in a city and in your stealth camping that's a lot harder too but then you're in the city you know you can go anywhere and you know go to parks go to uh, go to restaurants bars whatever uh, and that's not a problem so well I think I'll close out this video here I want to thank everyone for watching and I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving be safe and hello to my friends and family back in Houston and uh, we'll talk to you later.